This is getting started with MyMaps in AOA. Whether you need to work on your studying or you're about to launch a new product or you're going on a vacation, our MyMaps offer endless possibilities when it comes to brainstorming. Let's create a MyMap. You'll find the Create New button on your homepage. Let's select MyMap. In here, you can see we have multiple styles of MyMaps. We'll go through each one, but let's go with the speed map for now. I'm working on my new computer setup, so I'll use this name. I can add a description here and I can also invite collaborators to help me with ideas. Just like that. Let's click create my map. We'll start with choosing the central idea style. You can choose any shape or sticker from here. I'll go with a shape for now, select the color and then click create. We have the central idea with our mind map title now. From here, I can go and change the font, size, color of the text, and the color of the branch. Let's add some branches now. I can click on this green plus button to add them. Let's add two on this side, and these other two on this side. We now have the main branches, but let's add some child branches as well. You can also press enter on your keyboard to quickly add them so they stack on top of each other. From here, I can drag and drop these child branches to the other main branches just to make the map look more even. We're off to a great start. Let's customize our branches now. Let's click on a branch. On the top left, we have our toolbar. Let's select the format tool. This allows us to change the shape and line color of the branch and also edit the text once I'm happy with my edits on this branch with the colors and the fonts, I can click on Apply Style to Children to instantly customize the child branches of that main branch. Let's add an image now. From the image icon, we have multiple options, but let's search for one. Once I found one I like, I can select it and that will go as a cover on the branch, filling up the whole shape. I can go back in and make some further edits changing the position and size of the image inside of the branch. Just like that, playing around with it. Let's add notes and attachments. For notes, we can click on the notes icon in the top left toolbar. A side panel opens and we can add our notes in here, format the text and make some edits. Once we're done, we can see that a little notes icon appeared on the branch. For attachments, we can click on the attachments icon. In here, we can upload any kind of file from our computer. We can even record voice notes. And we can add links as well. All of these attachments are safely stored on the cloud. As we can see, the attachments icon appeared on the branch. Let's take a look at my map styles. I've spent some time customizing my map just to make it look nicer. But in the top right corner, under display options, we'll find the style option. From here, we can choose between different styles. We also have dyslexia view, which changes the background color to a pale tone, and we can select any kind of color we want. Dyslexia view automatically turns on the idea bank. Let's see what that is. In the top left corner, you'll find your idea bank menu. This is a place for you to safely store ideas on the go. When you're happy with an idea, you can drag and drop it onto your My Map. Just like that. Let's change the view style of the map. From this menu, we can select the organic map. The organic map is a bit more visual, allowing you to draw branches and be more creative. You can turn freehand on and draw as you would on a piece of paper. There's really no limit here. Moving on, the radial map looks like a pie chart. Besides the cool spinning animations, you can use the focus in feature to reduce distractions and just work on a particular subject. Cool animation there as well. You can go back to the full map from here. Last but not least, we have the capture maps. These are a bit different as they don't have a central idea. You can quickly add ideas by double clicking or pressing enter. You can then create connections between those ideas. Now, let's see how we can share our my map. From the share menu, we can see the people that are added to the my map. We can add someone directly in here. Alex already has an account, so that's why his avatar showed up. We can set permissions from here. We can also set the map to public, set the permissions and share the unique link with anyone so they can interact with our MyMap even without an account. 
We've had a look over the main functions for the mind maps, but there's really no limit when it comes to brainstorming. If you want to start taking your creativity to the next level, you can discover more on AOA.com.